Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangsters, Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collective Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. During the next seven to eight minutes of this video presentation, we are going to go over our buying process. So if you're already familiar with our process or you've watched our videos in the past, please feel free to fast forward to today's vehicle presentation. In Daytona Beach, we have a 25,000 square foot facility where we house 60 to 70 collector cars, all of which we own. Hangsters.com. We are an internet-based business. We have 100, well, 80 to 100 photographs on our website of each vehicle, along with a 20 to 25 minute video presentation. The reason we have this content on our website is because the majority of the transactions we conduct, conduct month after month and year after year are done sight unseen. Yes, people wire us money for 30, 50, $70,000 cars without ever coming to look at them. However, I do not encourage that you do this. Um, classic cars, they're awesome, nostalgic, have great looks, uh, get a lot of compliments, a lot of eyeball, a lot of appeal. Um, but they're 30, 40, 50 year old cars. They are not that brand new car that you're gonna go get from your Ford or Dodge dealer or Chevrolet dealership. Um, they all have flaws, deficiencies, weaknesses, tendencies, some of which we try to disclose in our video presentation and in our photos on our website. I encourage you to come in person to check out the car for yourself. We would gladly pull the car outside for you. You can check out the paint condition, interior condition, real good out in the natural light. You can pop the hood, you can pop the trunk, look the car over real good with your own eyes. We have two twin post lifts here in our Daytona showroom. We'd be more than happy to put the car in air for you if you'd like us to. You can check out the undercarriage, uh, the suspension components, the bottom of the motor, the bottom of the transmission, the floor pan condition, the tire condition. We'll let you drive the car. You can see how the car stops, starts, steers, accelerates, uh, how the transmission shifts, how the ride feels, if there's any noises you don't like, if there's any kind of vibrations or, or anything like that you do not like. This way, when the vehicle shows up to you wherever you're at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself in its entirety. In our photo shoots and in our video presentations, we try to represent each vehicle as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can and offer full transparency. However, we can only cover so much content in a 20 minute video presentation and this is why we encourage you guys to come in person and check the car out for yourself. What happens next? Once you decide on your classic ride, where do we go from here? If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and bank wire transfer. And if you're coming to visit us in person, you wanna bring us cash, we'll take that too. That does still spend today, believe it or not. Maybe you don't have the cash to buy one of these cars. What, what are my financing options? We work with a few different collective car lenders that offer terms on these vehicles. The terms start at five years and they go up to 15 years. Approval is going to be based on your credit bureau, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car, things like that. I discussed 15 year term. They aren't going to do 15 years on a $25,000 car. There is price cutoffs for that 15 year approval and obviously you have to qualify on the credit end. The uh, loans from the lenders are simple interest loans which means if your payment's $500 a month and you pay $800 a month, the extra $300 goes towards principal. Also, no prepayment penalty. So if you get approved for an eight year term, which is about the average approval term, and you pay it off in 12 months, they aren't gonna penalize you for doing so. So that makes it nice to own one of these classics also. Short term money loans, you can do that. And then you can pull money out of your home equity line or your 401k or pull cash out of the bank, whatever the circumstances that you have are. Once the vehicle is paid for, what happens? The car goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. We sell old cars. Anything can stop working, anything can start leaking at any given moment. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. We torque the lug nuts, we check the tire pressure, we check the fluid levels, make sure the AC's blown cold if it's equipped, make sure your brake lights work, your horn works, your wipers work, all of that stuff. Once it's green lighted and the guys say it's good to go, then we detail it. After it goes through detail, a carrier is dispatched if we are the ones handling the shipping. We can typically have a truck here within 48 hours. However, 
If you're in a more rural or remote destination or a holiday falls in there, or maybe you're on the West Coast where they do fewer runs because of obviously the travel distance, it may take three, four, five business days to get a truck here, but I promise you, we know you're excited to get your ride. We are excited we earned your business as a customer. We will get you your vehicle as quickly and as safely as we possibly can. If you're the one handling the shipping, let's say you're sending your own carrier or you're coming with your own enclosed or open transport or you're driving the car home because you're close enough, we'll let you know when the vehicle is ready and you can come pick the vehicle up. That about covers our uh, purchasing process here at Hangster's Hot Rods of Daytona. So let's get started with today's vehicle presentation. Here at Hangster's Hot Rods, we are knocking it out of the park this month with quality and desirable inventory. And today's presentation is absolutely no exception. 1967 Pontiac GTO, real 242 car. Let's check it out. So, you are looking underneath the hood of our 67 GTO that is documented, by the way, not only with PHS docs, but also with photos of the restoration, which was completed in 2013. 400 motor, big gold contraption in the back there. That is your power brake booster. The car does have power brakes. Uh, the cowl tag does start with 242. We will have a picture of that and the VIN tag on the uh, website for you to check out. Uh, beneath the alternator here, you have your power steering reservoir. So the car does have power steering. And look at that fancy contraption over there on the passenger side above the passenger side valve uh, cover. That is an AC compressor, does have AC. Center console, bucket seat, his, her shifter car, PHS docks. <laughs> we'll start with the paint. Um, paint on the hood, fenders, uh, really nice condition. Um, it does have some, I don't know, there's like little, these little tiny dots in the right lighting, um, but it's not something you see from even a foot away, but if you run the light across the hood, there's a couple little dimples here you can see in the hood. Uh, other than that, uh, no clear coat fade, color's nice and uniform, hood scoop's good, top of the fenders are good, uh, real nice paint up top there. In the front of the car, you have that iconic 1967 GTO front end with the uh, stacked headlights, uh, your chrome in the grill there, all in good condition, chrome on the front bumper, in great shape, GTO badge on the driver's side front of the grill, uh, real nice condition uh, up front there. There is also uh, one, two, three, three little brush touches there. Once again, I can't see it from a foot away, but you can see it when you get up close on the car. Uh, let's start with the driver's side fender. Um, up top, down low, paint real good. Uh, you can see that there's no blisters, bubbles, cracks there in the paint on the front fender. Uh, wheel opening moldings are installed correctly. Uh, they aren't bowing away from the wheel well there. Uh, the Pontiac Motor Division wheels um, in nice shape, beauty rings in nice shape, the uh, Cooper Cobra weighs white letters. Uh, so those tires that are on the car right now are from uh, 2012. So uh, they are going to the wayside and you are getting a brand new set of raised white letter Coopers that are sitting over in the shop ready to go on this car as soon as I'm done with this video presentation. Um, the uh, rocker molding here, which is you know a staple of the 67 GTOs, uh, runs along the bottom of the door, the rocker, the quarter panel, all in pretty good shape on this uh, blue 67. Front windshield, clarity's nice on the car. Looking through the front windshield, you can see the dash pad's real nice on the vehicle. Chrome around the uh, front windshield in real nice shape. Going to have dual mirrors on the car, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. The chrome on those are both in real nice condition. Does have white pinstriping that runs down the body line of the car, starts on the front fender, continues on the door, and then onto that huge 1967 rear quarter. Um, all in nice shape, not cracked, not peeling, not faded. Check out the door fitment on the car. Let's start with the gaps uh, from the uh, top of the door to the bottom of the door. Uh, lines up nicely to the front fender, lines up nicely to the rear quarter. 
Nice door fitting on the car. Let's jump back. Well, I guess we'll jump up top first to the roof of the vehicle. Uh, once again, real nice paint uniform. I can tell you that the restoration on this car was completed in 2013, so it's a 10 year old restoration. It does look uh, real, real, real nice. The uh, vent window, door glass, quarter window glass, all real nice clarity. Drip rail moldings are installed properly. The chrome on those are real nice. Chrome at the top of the door is in nice condition. Top of the uh, quarter panel. Take a look inside the car. Door panels, uh, real nice condition. Not warped, not faded, no tear in the armrest, no discoloration in the carpet down below. Top in the back seat, take a look back there. Rear seat belts, uh, cushion on the seats are real nice. Vinyl's in great condition, not torn. Uh, carpeting in nice shape, not torn, not heavily discolored. Black floor mats in the car are newer. The uh, dome light illuminates when I open up the driver door. There's also a little courtesy light in there in the center console. You can see that it's illuminating. Seat backs on the car are real nice, not falling off, not uh, all chipped up, cracked up. Vinyl on the uh, driver's seat, see is real nice shape. Seat cushion's really nice. Vinyl's not torn or ripped or discolored. Got that uh, wood grain steering wheel, that's in nice condition. A black floor mat up front, GTO badge on it. And then, if I can get the floor mat up there. Can you see that? Carpeting's in nice condition. Once again, not torn, heavily discolored. Uh, wood grain around all your bezels in nice shape. His, her shifter, center console car. How about this GTO, huh? Real nice vehicle. So our GTO, our 67 GTO is a long car. So let's check out our body panels. So the uh, rear quarter of this car, laser straight, driver door fits nicely. All your gaps are nice. This is a real nice car down the side. Paint quality, interior quality, mechanical quality. The, uh, the car runs real nice. We'll show you that here uh, on a test drive presentation. Uh, I told you the, the tires on the car are dated. There will be brand new. Same tires are going back on it, just uh, brand new. So you will have brand new sneakers for your 67 GTO when you take delivery of it. The uh, rear window, once again, clarity is real nice on the car. The uh, chrome, uh, nice condition all around the uh, rear windshield. The uh, paint, both on the deck lid, uh, top of the quarters, real nice. There's no issues there. No paint cracks, no uh, clear coat fade, uh, no color issues. How about the rear of the car? The uh, chrome rear bumper's in real nice condition. You got uh, dual chrome tips coming out of the uh, rear bumper there. Uh, pointing down at the ground, angled down towards the ground a little bit. So, we always get asked for documentation. Do you have documentation? Do you know when the paint was done? Do you know when the interior was done, the motor was done? So, we do have some uh, pretty significant documentation on this car. Uh, so, this will all come with the car. First of all, that is the car on the cover of this magazine, The Legend, uh, GTO Association of America. So that is this car. And then there's a cool article inside, the Reborn Goat. And it goes over the story, um, which I'm not gonna read to you here. I don't wanna bore you to tears. You guys probably get pretty tired of listening to me during 25 minutes, let alone however long it take me to read that. But that will come with the car. This also will come with the car. And let me show you some, uh, I'm just gonna touch on a couple things. I'm not gonna go through the whole binder. Uh, most importantly, I put this up front because it's the PHS dock. So, car did not start life blue. The car started life red. Car did not start life with a blue interior. It started life with a black interior, and it was a bench seat car. It did start life with a 400. It did start life with power steering, power brakes. Okay. Um, so, all that PHS docks will be with the uh, car, and it's going to be on our website. Uh, for you to view. I don't think that you just have to keep rewinding this video to check it out because we'll have it on the website. 
Uh, this is when the uh, uh, car was completed. The appraisal was done, 311.13. Uh, you know, you have some of that stuff going on. Uh, some miscellaneous receipts. Uh, there was somewhere in here a breakdown of like front disc brakes, tachometer, you know, all that stuff. Once again, uh, we'll uh, include this when we uh, ship the car. And then, of course, the restoration itself. Pictures of the entire restoration process. So that's pretty freaking cool. So, unlike most cars we get through our showroom, this car is actually documented. Not only in a uh, publication magazine, but also in form of pictures, receipts, and PHS docs. And a full-size spare and a jack. Trunk mat. Trunk's in good shape. No rust holes, rot holes. If you've been waiting for that 67 GTO to come along that's the one for you, I would suggest jumping on this one because it's a friggin' nice car. Body lines on this car, uh, both driver and passenger side are fantastic. Uh, some of the better that I have seen. You know, when you get into the longer cars, the Impalas, the uh, uh, GTOs, the Roadrunners, you know, you're a lot of metal down the side of the car. And uh, this one's straight as, straight as can be. Paint, no issues on the rear quarter here on the passenger side. Drip rail moldings on the uh, passenger side in good shape. Chrome is fantastic. They are installed properly. Your uh, drop down here from your roof to your rear quarter is nice. Uh, no paint issues there. Let's pop open the passenger door of the car. Door panel, same, in, uh, same on the passenger side as it was on the driver's side. Carpet's in good shape. Vinyl's in good shape. GTO floor mat's in good shape. The uh, carpeting in the car is in nice condition. Got that iconic uh, GTO grab handle there. The uh, vinyl throughout the entire car is in great shape. Uh, that dome light, once again, is on when you open up the passenger side door. Cool stuff. Uh, passenger side door, once again, paint, nice condition, door fitment, good, gaps, good, uh, glass clarity, uh, vent window, door glass, uh, rear quarter window, all your glass clarity is real nice, uh, from the front windshield to the rear windshield to both quarter windows, vent glass, it's just a real nice car. <clears throat> so I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, those rocker covers, online, they're about, I don't know, Last time I checked, they were about 300 bucks a set. Um, the ones on this car are in uh, better shape than uh, most GTOs I see. You know, they sit, it's, it's a dumb design. They're, they're, they're aluminum and they sit low to the ground. They take road debris, rocks kick up, hit them, ding them, dent them. But those ones are uh, in pretty friggin' fantastic shape uh, from what I've seen uh, 67 GTOs through our showroom. Uh, paint quality on the passenger side front fender, real nice. Once again, a pinstripe going down the side of the car in great condition. This is a beautiful car. 1967 Pontiac GTO, power steering, power brakes, AC, documentation of the restoration, PHS docks. Love it. We have a rack sitting right there. We're going to toss this vehicle up in the air and do an undercarriage presentation for you, show you how nice and solid the undercarriage of our 1967 GTO is. And then I'm hoping that I can get a test drive crammed in before the rain starts. We've got some clouds overhead. I don't want to get this beautiful piece of equipment wet, but we will if we have to to get the test drive in. Um, we'll conclude our uh, video presentation here with a undercarriage presentation and then a short test drive to show you how our 67 GTO runs out. Okay, underneath our 67 GTO, you have disc brakes up front. Uh, the front of the pan here looks good. If we can get a shot of that, front of the oil pan and then the front seal here, those all look good. Uh, continuing back on the car, we've got starter in the way on the driver's side. You can't see anything. I'm right here and I can't see anything. And you can't really see much on the passenger side because the exhaust is in the way, but maybe we can peek the camera up through right here between the oil filter and the exhaust manifold and show you side of the uh, engine there. 
Uh, exhaust pipes look to be in good shape. No rust holes, rot holes, pin holes, anything funky going on with those. Uh, let's take a look at our problematic areas on our transmissions. First of all, the tranny pan. You see it's nice and dry around there. Speedo cable, it's another area of concern. And then tail shaft seal. Not sure if we can really get a shot of that. Mm, kind of maybe. All three are dry. Um, tail shaft seal's about 10, 15 bucks. Speedo cable, O rings about, mm, I don't know, a dollar or two. Pan gaskets cheap, depending on whether you go with cork or rubber and you know how much money you want to spend. For a really, really good top of line one, you might be 50, 60 bucks, but uh, for the whole kit. But uh, those are the things to look for in your transmission. Uh, cross members in great shape, supporting the transmission up here. Uh, floor pans in the car are fantastic. We showed you the uh, restoration pictures. So uh, the floor pans, all one solid piece all the way back on the car. E-brakes hooked up, intact, functioning. Uh, you got a uh, uh, little H-pipe here, uh, and then looks like no-name exhaust system. No, uh, no name brand on the uh, mufflers back there. Uh, floor pans and frame rails on the car look fantastic. Take a look at the frame rails, not only on the side of the car, underneath the rockers, but also as we continue up over the rear end here shortly uh, in our presentation. Going to have drum brakes on the rear of the vehicle. And then uh, frame rails look good there, both on the driver and passenger side. There's those chrome turndowns that we uh, showed you in the walk-around presentation. Pretty big gas tank to power this car, isn't it? Huge. Uh, I'm going to show you the uh, tire condition and show you why we're going to, you know, even though... So look, we have good tread and we have good uh, rubber. It's just here, you know, when, when you're dealing with older cars, classic cars, um, you always have to be concerned about tire age and we just by rule of thumb if it's over 10 years old we put new tires on it. Even though these tires are not dry rotted in the sidewall and they're not dry rotted in the treads. They have good tread on them but they're just you know they're over 10 years old so they need to be replaced. We don't send anything out of here with uh, tires anything older than nine and a half years. Oh uh, well pretty good undercarriage. Pretty good car so far right? We're going to take it on a test drive and show you how it runs. I've driven this car before. I'm familiar with it. It runs absolutely fantastic. It has ice cold air, air conditioning. And we're going to take it out in the Florida sunshine and uh, do a little test drive right now and show you how the vehicle runs out. You know, about nine out of every 10 cars I buy, the horn doesn't work. This one's no exception. But we already know that and we already have provisions to fix it. Just got to go into the shop tomorrow morning. So that'll be fixed. Turn signals work. Drivers, passengers, 86.99 is not the uh, actual miles on the car. Title reads exempt. The clock's working on this thing. Can you believe that? Fuel gauge works. Tack works. Radio works. Radio, oh, radio works. AC works, most importantly. We already had it running. I'm just turning it on high so that you guys can hear it. And it is blowing nice and cold. I'm going to turn it down. Wipers. Dash pad's in good shape. Look at all your wood grain around your bezels and your radio. And while you're looking at that, you can see, when was the restoration completed? This one actually has a freaking plate on it. 3-1-2013. Center console's in real good shape. I like the uh, GTO ball, that's nice. I got big hands, so that fits. That's a nice shifter ball. Um, the headliner's in nice shape. You got the real deal OEM seatbelts in the back. They're not those cheap $20 parts store things. 
We're idling nicely. We're not stalling out. Let's drive it and see how it runs. I really love when we have such an awesome piece of inventory. I love this car. Speedo's functioning. It's accurate, it's not bouncing around. Car tracks nice and straight. Big car, right? Well, pretty good response in the steering wheel for being such a large car. We are riding real nice. There's no engine vibration, no tranny vibration, no tire vibration. I'm gonna kick the AC up just one notch there because it's hot in Daytona. Got the windows up, AC's on. I'm nice and cool and comfortable. His or her shifter. This is a nice ride. Got a red light uh, up here, so we'll put on the brakes and show you how those work. Slowing down, no vibration, no pulsation, no pull. Car stops with ease, no problem. We'll run it up through a couple gears. Oh, green light, perfect timing, right? You definitely can't hear it in the video, especially with the windows up and the AC on, but the, the tranny shifts real, real nice in the car. There's 60, I don't know, 63, 64. I'm gonna catch up to the traffic in front of me. Look at this. 60 miles an hour down the road in the 1967 Pontiac GTO with no hands on the wheel. It's a quality vehicle from the gauges to the mechanics to the body to the interior, AC, documented, photographed. It's a nice car. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. So you can find all the photos of this 67 GTO today, including those PHS docks, along with this video presentation you're watching right now. At full retail price, our 67 GTO includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty is good on the engine, the transmission, and the rear end. So guess what? The AC stops low and cold. It's not covered under the warranty. Neither is the battery, the brakes, the starter, the alternator, the oil pan gasket, the tranny pan gasket. Those are all items that are normal wear and tear items that would be on you. However, we cover the major mechanical breakdowns of the car should there be one. Is the price of the vehicle negotiable? Within reason, it's most certainly negotiable. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. There's no exceptions. Also, the shipping comes off. Time is money, and it takes time to ship these classic cars, collector cars. We have to vest the driver, make sure they're properly licensed, bonded, and insured to carry your car. We have to set up the pickup. We have to set up the delivery. We have to pay the driver. We have to track the shipment from point A to point B. And when you're shipping five, six cars a week, and you got all these moving components, just like an air traffic controller, right? There's, a, there's some, there's some uh, time involved in that. That's why at full retail price, it's a turnkey deal. You get the uh, security of the warranty, and you get the uh, ease of us handling all your shipping arrangements. And negotiated costs, you're going to do that like work yourself. Maybe you are a collector or an enthusiast or a hobbyist, and you have your own trailer. Come trailer this GTO home, maybe make a couple trip, uh, a couple day trip out of it here in Daytona. A lot of cool stuff to do. And if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, no problem driving this car home because I am at 85 degrees right now with the windows up in our 67 GTO, and I am cool as hell. Hangsters Hot Rods is located in the Sunshine State, Central Florida, sunny Daytona Beach. And once again, our website's hangsters.com. Check us out.